Hey friends, welcome to new business ideas. Today we look in the business. How to start a profitable supermarket business. A supermarket is a retail general store offering various products for home use covering household items, food products, beverages, daily use items, stationery, and more under one roof. A supermarket unlike a general store that you will see at every corner in India. Emphasizes the variety of products placed on slabs in sections, where customers can see the product they can choose from. Customers, especially those who live in big cities or those who work, have very little time to shop. And when they get time to shop especially on weekends, they can find all their needs in one place. In the last two decades, we all have witnessed the growth of supermarket stores on small, medium and large scales all over India. Also, supermarkets, grocery stores and convenience stores are popular, and emerging businesses in today's retail sector. And depending on the capital investment and funding, these businesses can be started on a small or large scale. Here in this video, we provide a step-by-step -step guide for how to start a supermarket all on your own. Market Opportunities in Supermarket Business Supermarkets can never put your business at loss, since the frequency of buying groceries and other daily needs is quite high. In a country like India, where everything is based on tradition and culture, there is a certain charm in something tangible, and nothing is more tangible than a retail store. Even though the world of e-commerce continues to grow, 91% of all sales are still being generated in stores. The allure of retail remains undeniable, forcing many e-commerce giants to open on-ground stores. And supermarkets are appreciated for the availability of all the items under one umbrella. So, with the current market scenario and strong growth predicted for its future, now is an ideal time to invest and start on your own. Business Plan for Supermarket Business The first step in starting any business is to plan ahead of time. Business planning necessitates adequate market research, which will provide you with the correct perspective on the business as well as new ideas for your business. A supermarket business plan should include, among other things, deciding whether you want a physical or online store. The types of products you intend to offer, the cost of inventory, product pricing, competition analysis, and financing. While a business plan is essential for business direction, it is also required for financing. If you want to get a grocery store loan from a bank, you'll need a detailed business plan. So, if you want to start a supermarket, this will help you implement the proper procedures for your business. Investment for Supermarket Business Starting a supermarket will require some financial investment at the start, anywhere between 10 lakh to 1 crore investment can be upon opening a store. And depending on the size of the store, these funds will be required for a variety of functions. Beginning with registration and progressing, to a wide range of needs such as staff recruitment and store design. If you are looking for funding, another important thing to remember, is that the government has created specific programs that offer, low-interest business loans of up to 10 lakhs. Moreover, various private banks and financial institutions provide startup loans to businesses. Location for supermarket business. Location is a critical factor that has a direct impact on sales. If you want to open a physical supermarket, you must first find a location for it. The location is an important consideration. A good grocery store location should be easy for customers to find, access, and use. There are two ways to select a location. One where there is a specific type of crowd, and another where your competitors are already in the market. But you have done your research and found out the customer pain points that your store can solve. The first step in determining the atmosphere in your store is its location. So, locate a suitable location for a supermarket. Registration for supermarket business. The most important decision for any individual starting a new business is to choose a legally viable organizational structure. Some of the things to consider for the supermarket business. 1. Register your business under a sole proprietorship, partnership, or other ownership options. 2. Getting a trade license for your convenience store. 3. Register your business under the Shops and Establishment Act of 1953. 4. Obtaining an FSSAI license. 5. Tax-related registrations like getting a TAN and GST number. There may be other registrations required depending upon the direction your business takes. To begin, the better option is to seek legal advice and make use of resources that provide objective and accurate opinions or guidance, such as a lawyer search. Design and sustainability for supermarket business. Choose a design in which each item can be easily placed, and the goods are well visible to the customers. Because many times it happens when a customer buys an item when he sees it. 
Interior design is also a very important step, from the point of view of external attractiveness and making the goods available to the customers quickly. Because if many customers come to the general store of the entrepreneur at one time, so if the goods are well organized in that store, those all customers can be dealt with in very less time. So the interior design work should be done, in such a way that things look beautiful, and visible to the customers. And the entrepreneur can remove them immediately to give to the customers. So, hire a professional who can provide you with the latest, and most innovative designs for your store. That makes it easier for you to store numerous items in your store, without making it look too much packed. Also, those designs should also be flexible, in order to accommodate different types of products, with changing market needs and seasons. Hire staff for supermarket business. The supermarket or grocery store business is not one that you can run on your own. You must hire trustworthy employees. Cashiers, stockkeepers, stock movers, security personnel, and cleaners are just a few of the people you'll need. You can hire marketing managers and human resources managers, as your supermarket or grocery store grows. Because the supermarket and grocery store business is so sensitive, you may require your employees to provide guarantors, who can vouch for their integrity, dependability, and trustworthiness. Select the vendors for supermarket business. Vendors are the people who provide you with goods for your stock, which you will sell in your supermarket. It is critical to select the right vendor for your company because it will affect your sales and profit. Choosing the right vendors will assist you in obtaining products at a very reasonable cost, allowing you to offer discounts to your customers. Vendors also manage inventory, which is known as vendor managed inventory. If your vendor manages your inventory, you may be able to do away with the need for a separate inventory manager. Thus, selecting the right vendor is critical for both product quality and price. Finally, delivery is an important consideration. Because this is a long-term relationship, vendors should be chosen after thorough research. Marketing for supermarket business. Ads are essential for attracting the most customers to your store. You can advertise to your potential customers using both traditional and digital methods. To attract new customers, you can place advertisements in print media, local media, digital media, and online media, as well as on hoardings and billboards. Second, such businesses grow primarily through word of mouth. A satisfied customer enters his circle and lavishes praise on your store. This is most common in small towns with a small and limited social circle. Such assurance and trust is what drives your company's success, and it is far more appealing than the paid advertisements you run. We hope in this supermarket business video will help you in initiating your own business. If you like in this video please like and comment. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching friends. For more business ideas, find in our channel video playlist. And subscribe to new business ideas.